What's up guys, Ten All Sports Central will be going over my week five bull projections and we're getting to that time of the year now uh, where teams start to become a little bit, or they start to become bull eligible. And so with that being said, uh, from here on out, we're gonna start bull projections. And of course, it's crazy we've already made it to week five. I mean, the month of September is just about over already. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be going over these bull games. And I'm gonna go through these first few quite quickly. I'll probably do more analysis on once went or on the bigger ones once we get to the end of this video but to start off with oh, we got the Bahamas Bowl I'm going to say Buffalo North Texas Frisco Bowl Memphis and Army that should be an interesting one Cure Bowl Troy versus UAB of course UAB has been, been a very interesting program of course when they had to quit that one year um, due to financial problems and then they come back and it looks like they're going to make another bowl this year uh, but then you got New Mexico Bowl I'm going to say Marshall Utah State Boca Raton, I'm going to say Ohio versus Florida Atlantic. Good in, that's going to be an interesting one there. Camellia Bowl, sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these wrong. Eastern Michigan versus Louisiana. Uh, Las Vegas Bowl, this is an interesting one too. Washington State and Fresno State. I think Washington State's going to be, um, of course, they had a really tough loss to UCLA this past week, so that's kind of what kind of dropped them a little bit here. Uh, but still, Fresno State should be a really good opponent for them. New Orleans Bowl, Arkansas State, Louisiana Tech, Gar or Gasparilla Bowl. Temple and Syracuse. Of course, Temple had a big upset. Well, it was an upset against Maryland a couple of their weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I think they're going to end up making it to this bowl against Syracuse. Hawaii Bowl, BYU and Houston. Independence Bowl, uh, Virginia Tech, Tulane, Quick Lane, Nebraska, and Florida State. That'll be an interesting one, I'd say. Of course, I mean, both of those teams used to be um, big national contenders. And of course, with them having a rematch in a, in a in a low caliber bowl game, but I think Nebraska is a great team, but I don't expect them to make it anything really higher than like, let's say Outback Bowl for them right now. And then Florida State, of course, off to a slower start right now. Um, I think they'll pick it up a little bit once we get to uh, um, to the rest of conference season. I think they get to six, seven wins possibly. Uh, yeah, then you got the Military Bowl, North Carolina and Navy, Pinstripe Bowl, Michigan State, NC State. Another interesting one there with Michigan State. I think that Michigan, I mean, they're in a very, very tough division, so I don't think that's going to, um, that's going to be tough for them to get any higher than that right now. But then, then you got the Texas Bowl, SMU and Baylor. SMU's looking pretty good right now. Uh, next up, we got Holiday Bowl, Washington and Minnesota. That's always an interesting one. Jesus Bowl, Arizona State, TCU, Camping World, Wake Forest and Kansas State. Uh, Cotton Bowl, this is a very interesting one. Boise State and Notre Dame, uh, both of those teams being non-Power 5 conference teams. Um, but I expect them to to uh, come up on top. I think UCF is good, but I don't expect UCF to make it to the Cotton Bowl here this year. First responder, I'm going to say Texas Tech, Southern Miss, Music City, Texas A&M versus Pitt, um, Red Box, USC versus Michigan. Really interesting one there. I think Michigan, I mean, Michigan's a decent team, but right now they're just looking really poor. And I think they're going to drop a little bit as the season goes on. Um, I don't. I don't think they're going to pull off any crazy wins or any college football playoff appearances here this year. I think they face USC in the Red Box Bowl. Uh, but Orange Bowl, this is a big one. Virginia and LSU. I'm putting Virginia in this one. I'm. I'm kind of faithful on Virginia right now. They're kind of on the rise, even though they ever, or even though they've had more of a um, easier type of schedule right now. Once it picks up, we'll be able to see whether Virginia is a real team or not. But I think they face LSU in that one. That's going to be an exciting one, I think, if that happens. Belk, we're going to have Mississippi State Miami. Sun Bowl, Utah versus Duke. Uh, Utah, I think, is going to drop a tiny bit, uh, but they'll face Duke, so that'll still be a pretty good game. Liberty, I'm going to give UCF and Iowa State. Interesting one there. Arizona, we're going to for the Arizona Bowl, we're going to do San Diego State, Coastal Carolina. Alamo Bowl, California and Oklahoma State. Uh, Citrus Bowl, Auburn and Penn State. And then Outback Bowl, Outback Bowl. sorry I'm not pronouncing these very well. Uh, Florida and Iowa, so that's another very interesting one. I mean, especially in this third column over here, all of these are very, very interesting. I mean, Auburn and Penn State, I would love to see that matchup. And Florida and Iowa, of course. I mean, Iowa, I'm, I'm kind of unsure on that team right now. Um, but, of course, Florida, I mean, I'm kind of on Trump Florida as well. Uh, yeah, both of those teams, I think, will fit pretty well for the Outback Bowl. Here's your last few big ones. We got Rose Bowl, Wisconsin, and Oregon. I think both of those teams will win. Or I think that Ohio State ends up winning the Big Ten Conference when Wisconsin comes second, which is why they get the Rose Bowl. Um, yeah, they'll play Oregon in that one. Interesting one there. Sugar Bowl, Georgia and Texas, kind of again a rematch um, of one of the last year's bowl games between Georgia and Texas. Uh, Birmingham, we're going to get Indiana and Cincinnati. Gator, um, Kentucky and Minnesota. 
then Armed Forces, Western Michigan, and Air Force. Um, and then we're going to go uh, with the Alabama Bowl then. Um, Toledo and Appalachian State. Now, I don't know why we got the Armed Forces Bowl twice, but yeah, Maryland and Hawaii will be uh, one of those bowl games towards the end of the season. Then you got the College Bowl Playoff Fiesta Bowl, all, or Alabama against Oklahoma, and then College Bowl Playoff Peach Bowl is going to be Clemson and Ohio State. I think we're going to see one seed be Alabama right now, and then we're going to have the four seed be Oklahoma. Two seed will be Clemson, and then three seed will be Ohio State. So we're going to have uh, more of a similar one than what we've seen in recent years. Uh, but the national championship right now, I mean, Clemson and Oklahoma, I think is what it's going to be. I think Oklahoma ends up upsetting Alabama. And I think I mean, with Jalen Hurts playing his former team, I think there's going to be a lot of fire in that spirit. And I think Oklahoma ends up winning that one. And we're going to see a different national championship this year. This one's going to be against Clem or this one's going to be Clemson and Oklahoma. Now, of course, I'm not going to predict the winner of that right now. We're still very, very on in the se or early on in the season. Uh, yeah, Clemson and Oklahoma is what my college football playoff national championship is going to be right now. Uh, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on these bowl games in the comments below. If you think I'm getting any of these wrong, any of the big ones wrong, uh, be sure to let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. We're we'll going over um, some more Week 5 analysis and some Week 4 NFL analysis coming up pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for more um, from All Sports Central.